Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We're headed out early. Actually, it's not early, we have Gabby. We're headed out a little bit later than normal today. We're headed to the mall to do our regular Christmas shopping. Gabby, tell them how was your trip last night? It was great. It was great, she loved it. She went to Ottawa, she got to see the apartment buildings, she got to see the, where did you tour? University. Gabby might go to Ottawa University one day. You never know. So anyways, did you like the university? Yeah. Was it too big? It was huge. Yeah, that's crazy. So I don't know if she want to like go to a university that's massive like that. There are smaller ones. There are even ones she can take her horse to if she wanted to. But anyway, she had fun. She didn't get home till 2 a.m. The bus got in at 1.30. By the time they got home, it was 2 a.m. How was that, Sam? No, the bus got in at 12.45. Oh, the bus got in at 12.45, you liar. Yeah, we got home around 1.30. Oh, you got home at 1.30. And then Gabby spends two hours in the bathroom. And then Gabby spends two hours in the bathroom. So anyways, yeah, when you're tired, you spend less time. <laughs> anyway, welcome to today. We have some things we want to do on the farm, but we decided to go and try and finish off our Christmas shopping. There are some things I need the girls to pick, things that I cannot pick for them. So I do this every year. We do one a big shop at the end of my Christmas shopping and I let them kind of show me what they like and then I buy it. <laughs> we are at our favorite Christmas store. We come in here every year at Christmas time. It's Bath and Body Works. And we spend forever. Ooh. Yeah, that smells like a man. Oh, this is the man section. Gabby. Gabby says that some guy at school douses himself in this. I love that smell. I wish Sam smelled like that. It's called bourbon. Buy three, get one free. So Sophie, get four full-size body care things. Okay. Four things. This year is the year of the laundry hamper. I think Sophie needs one this big. That's cute, I like it. Oh, I get it. It's like the theme for your bathroom. That's super cute. That actually would fit in your bathroom even. Love it. Yeah. Loves it. <laughs> Been watching Paris in Love, can you guys tell? Do you wanna look for another one? I think a big one is good for you. Do you wanna look, do you want something? Yeah, that, yeah. You think a smaller one is what you need? Both my kids have a lot of clothes. You want the big one? Yeah, let's look, we'll see if there's a pink one. We are actually getting someplace, we got a full cart here. Uh, and now we've made it to the pet section. Let me just see. My dog hates clothes, but she needs something in the winter to keep her warm. We did some damage, but we are finally headed home, and it is so nice out. Minus one, negative one, so one degree below freezing. And that was my walk for the day. No, yeah, no, that was not our walk today. It, it was, was kind walk. of a walk for today. Anyway, we're headed home, and we have some stuff to do with the pets because farm life never ends. Okay, so I missed something in my Ellie video yesterday. Essentially, I think she has like a little bit of and separation and anxiety. Yorkies can definitely have separation and anxiety. She doesn't freak out when I'm gone, although she's not happy that I leave, but she settles down and she doesn't have any issues that way. But whenever I get home, she has to suck my necklace. She has to like, she jumps up on me and she has to like lick my necklace, chew my necklace. It's like a security thing for her. Like, I don't know how to explain it, it's weird. But do you guys see? And she does it like when she's, when I only, she mostly only does it when I've been gone. And she's like so excited to have me back. I ha she won't even go outside to pee. I have to hold her. I have to let her up. And then as soon as I do, she's after my necklace. But I don't know, it's hard to explain. I'll try and show you the next time. But it's like she's frantic about my necklace. And I know it's because she's like frantic that I've left her. I don't know, tell me what you guys think. I wish I could explain a little bit better because she's not like, she's not like, you know, she's not, she doesn't like me to leave. If I, if she can't find me and I'm, and we're outside together, what's wrong? Oh gosh, what's wrong, Pen? 
She's calling me. Anyways, she is, she's wonderful. She doesn't really have separation anxiety, but when I come home, she's like so excited to see me, like many dogs are. But she won't go or do anything until I've picked her up. Like she just will not. There's so much pressure when you come outside and everybody wants you. Like Penny screaming for me. The baby goat is screaming for me. I always thought farms were quiet. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, come on. Oh my goodness. Hey. I don't know what just happened there, but I heard, I heard the horse. Yeah, things are crazy. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Actually, it's early. It's late enough. We could put them in. Ooh. I just needed an extension cord. Oh. Hi, where's that baby? They're all actually crying. I don't, isn't she so cute? They're both, these are both the babies. That's literally the first time that the babies have come without their mamas. Woo, I'm cold. I need to get my mitts and my coat on. Where we go? The weather gets so cold in the afternoon, in the early afternoon. Here. Woo. All right, so let me explain what's happening. So, Hey, we moved the mom and the babies into this coop because this is the coop that's next to this coop so they can all get used to each other. So eventually the mom and the babies will be moved over there. Let me check for eggs. It looks like the mom pulled out all of her feathers. So we're going to move the babies into this coop and I'll show you why. We were hoping to, oh, first of all, if you guys are curious, Sophie did actually clean up her area. Somebody was saying that she didn't, but she did. <laughs> is she a slob? Yeah, she likes stuff. She has a lot of stuff. Sam is the same. All right, so we were happy to keep them in this bucket. We weren't anticipating that they would grow so fast and that they just grew out of this thing. So we're, oh my gosh, they are literally flying. So they need something more than this bucket now. Molly, so don't bite them. We're gonna take them out. <laughs> the dogs are all here, all four of them. They're like, let me have some. I smell chicken. <laughs> hey, I just changed that water today and it's all covered with stuff. Oh my gosh, settle down dogs. Anyways, Ooh, Jesus. so we're gonna try and take them out and well, they'll have a heater. Can they all fit under that heater though? Can they all fit under that heater? Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna try it. We've used the heater, that heater in the cold before. Penguin. Yeah, we think she's a girl. Look at the cat behind Oh my gosh. Even the cat is here, for goodness sake. Like, <laughs> it's so funny. All of our pets. <laughs> See, I don't know why this is happening now. Like, she has to be chewing my necklace all the time, but she does it frantically, like, <laughs> she's chewing my necklace. Oh no. This one's really cute. Sorry, Abby. Abby gave me this necklace. <laughs> if you wonder what happened to my necklace, Ellie chews it. <laughs> Pablo's the friendliest one. Ow. Try and move them to their new house. Pablo's and then, the oh, okay. but wait, should we do it today or should we wait till tomorrow? Today. But if we do it at night, we have to go out there at night and make sure that they're safe like a hundred times. Whereas if we do it in the daytime, we can check them a bunch of times okay. in the daytime. Do I see Ellie? Ellie. So what should we do? I don't know. I mean, we could take them out. We'll know. We'll just have to go out a couple of times. When we do night check for the horses, we'll go and we'll go a couple of times. I just don't know if they can all fit underneath that thing. I think what we're gonna do is do it in the morning. We're gonna do it in the morning. It's warm today. It's warm, it's getting cold now though. I think we should wait and do it in the morning because my concern is that they can't all fit underneath this thing. Ow! <laughs> this one is so cute. So ugly that it's cute. We need a bigger one of these things. 
at a girl. She doesn't understand the concept of she has to jump and move forward. We were able to knock a lot of stuff off our, maybe it's just my voice when I start talking to you guys that gets her excited. Maybe that's the thing. Cause she's fine running around doing her own thing. And as soon as I start talking, okay, let's, let's pretend. Pretend I'm not talking to you. So anyways, we were able to knock so many things off my Christmas list today. Gabby was actually able to pick out a bunch of things that she liked. It's really hard. There's every family has one kid that's hard to buy for. And I always had, uh, Gabby's my third out of five, three of them were hard to buy for. But she actually picked a bunch of things and showed me things that she liked. So I think Christmas is gonna be fun. And just like that, the, the sun went down. Like it, the days go by so fast now. Anyway, we decided not to switch the chickens over until tomorrow so that we can watch them closely and make sure they're nice and warm. I love, I love our chicken coop. I've seen complaints about our chicken coop, but I love how big it is. I love that you can walk in it. And I love that, I love that it can hold three different sets of chickens at different stages. I love that our bar over there can hold so many more chickens. It literally only holds two shelves of chickens right now. But our baby silkies are integrated over here and are doing well. Let's go. For Sophie and my New Year's resolution, we walked a lot today. Uh, New Year's hasn't even paid. Yet. I know, we're doing our New Year's resolution early. Oh my gosh, I almost tripped. It is noisy. <laughs> At our old house, I used to oh, hate yes. doing nighttime chores because it was so cold. So we would rush down. Get off the round bale, you stupid. We would rush down, do the chores, and be done with it. But at this house, and with the goats, I love chores. I hate chores. I, like, I don't know, it's been so nice out. It gets us out, gets us busy. I love to tuck everybody into bed at night. Like, look at how cozy that looks. They're all running in. Holy moly. So, we had trouble getting the goats down here this morning, or tonight. What happened with the goats? The two babies. Remember I showed you guys the two babies have been been coming without the moms. Where have the moms been? They've been stuck beyond the gate. How'd they get through? Uh, I had to open it for them. Oh, so they've gotten too fat to fit through the yeah. gates. I don't mind them being a little bit chunky through the winter because I want them to... Especially if they're pregnant. Yeah, especially if they're pregnant. I know you shouldn't. they shouldn't be obese when they're pregnant. But I want them to be warm and I want them to be growing big babies. This one's not pregnant and she's still too fat to get through the gate, which is fine, but she used to fit through the gate. Well, we don't typically know if she's pregnant. Till she's, she she's not pregnant for sure because she came back into heat. Hi! <laughs> and she just popped up. But it's funny to see the babies just hanging out. Like, the babies never go anywhere without the moms ever. Do you know where Tilly sleeps? Or do you know where Mocha sleeps every night? She sleeps underneath it. She likes to cuddle and snuggle. I don't know if her baby sleeps with her. No, one time I was looking out the window in the bathroom and I thought Mocha was dead. And I opened the window and said Mocha and two heads popped up. Aww. They were so close I couldn't even tell. That's adorable. She's like, let me see your bowl, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look from the table how fat she is. Yeah, so she's definitely pregnant. Side. Let's see her baby side. Yeah, righty, righty, lefty, lefty. Oh, I keep getting so confused. Sophie gets this better than me. This is her baby side. I don't get any. So she had twins before. Cast your votes. Do you think she'll have twins again? Okay. We tried something different. Wait, like we tried doing. doing the doling method, and the doling method is to let them breed only for the first day of their heat, and then and then stop them so that they'll get girls. I know it works, I've seen other people do it. I didn't actually see this one get bred. And then she did come back into heat two months after I thought she was bred, so it's unfortunate. Another thing that I did change is that we've been using shavings in here, but now that it's cold, I've been using uh, straw. But even more so, all the hay that they waste, I just pull it out and let them You're not just opening the door by herself. Because hay and straw is so much warmer. 
so Ooh, much easier to clean. Yeah, we're gonna go. Gabby's been bugging me to see my dress. Yeah, so we are going up now and we're gonna, so she's gonna try, she's got all the things she needs for her outfit. She's got a uh, fancy dress, she got a sweater, she got a purse. I'm not trying it on. Yeah, you are. No. She got a purse, she got shoes, and she got a new wallet for her purse. So I'm trying to do the same thing for these guys is all the all the hay that they throw onto the ground I'm making it bringing it out so they can cuddle in it and little mocha little Lola little Lola who knows her name is mad that she's in yeah she sleeps in that little Tupperware bucket I took the heating pad out now uh, because I had a dream Hello. that it wasn't good to keep it in there so I took it out and she sleeps in there still I put lots of hay in there and it's nice and warm and cozy for her and she sleeps in there I, just feel I wanted it to feel like her mama loving on her and and sleeping with her that's her box yeah it's her box I'm tall now, guys. yeah do you want to be tall no all right everybody is in bed so yeah, that is know. it we'll see you guys tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful